Underground with the Memphis Tiger Network outside of PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina for the second round of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament where the Tigers held off a late George Washington surge to pick up the 71-66 win and move on to the third round on Sunday. The Tigers open up the scoring in the first half after a pair of free throws and a bucket from Austin Nichols put the Tigers up 4-0 to start. Chris Crawford drained back-to-back -back threes and the teams traded baskets over the next five minutes before Memphis put together a 9-3 run sparked by a Joe Jackson layup and Crawford's third tray and capped off by a David Pelham bucket to go up 19-13 midway through the half. GW cut their deficit to 20-16 but Memphis put together another short run fueled by threes from Jackson and Michael Dixon Jr. to grab a 26-16 advantage with 5.43 left before the half. The Colonials answered with an 8-2 spurt to cut the Memphis lead back to 28-24, but Dixon responded again with a three-pointer to extend the Tigers' advantage to seven at 31-24. George Washington netted the final points of the half for a 31-26 score at the break. In the second half, GW started out in a 6-2 run to cut the Tigers' lead to just two before Memphis answered with their own 6-2 run, capped off by a big put-back dunk from Jaron Johnson, giving Memphis a 41-35 lead three and a half minutes in. The Tigers stretched their lead to 10 for the second time midway through the half after buckets from Shaq Goodwin and Michael Dixon Jr. After the Colonials cut the lead back down to six, Memphis made another run, outscoring George Washington 9-6 over the next five minutes to go up 64-55 with 3.56 remaining. Then the Colonials put together one final charge with a 7-0 spurt to pull within two at 64-62 with 2.39 on the clock. However, Memphis had one final push, closing out the game on a 7-4 run with all seven points coming from Michael Dixon Jr., including four clutch free throws down the stretch to secure the 71-66 win. Michael Dixon Jr. scored a team-high 19 points, including the Tigers' last seven of the game, and Joe Jackson added 15 points and six assists. Chris Crawford added nine points, six assists, and four rebounds. After the game, we talked to the players and head coach, Josh Pastner. I mean, it feel, I mean, it feels great, you know, definitely getting your first NCAA win, you know, against your alma mater. But I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's still emotional, you know, just because, you know, at the end of the day, somebody has to go home. And I told, you know, I told my teammates tonight, I mean, when the, 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 the game's over, somebody's flying back. And I was like, tonight's not going to be our night. I mean, so, you know, at the end of the day, it all feels good. You know, we got to win. We played a, um, a solid game. We still can get better um, before we play Virginia. Um, I mean, it's, just, it's, it's great to get that first win behind you in the tournament. Um, you get closer to your goal, and that's to get to the Final Four. So um, to win this game is, is big for us. And um, we need this as a momentum booster so we can go keep going. To tell you the truth, there's no reason to come out here and play scared or play with fear. Um, it's, it's a game of basketball. Um, it's a game of runs. And um, everybody put their shoes on the same way. So if we come out and compete hard, I mean, we got a chance to beat anybody. Like Coach Fasten always said, you know, yeah. energy, effort, and fit, fit balls, you, you, you can master that and be perfect at that. And I feel like we did a great job of getting after all those tonight. And, you know, like I said, we executed our game plan on the offense and the defensive end. And, you know, we got the win. That's all that matters. Yeah, you know, I mean, we've been through a lot of battles this year. We're a battle-tested team, and this was just another one on our list. I think uh, everybody played well. Everybody made big plays. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just a great team win for us and our fans, especially, you know what I mean, coming off such a bad loss at home our last game. And uh, I think we're moving forward in the right direction. Yeah, we got the W. Very uh, proud of our young men. Um, you know, we had to lead the entire game. And we won the game, we made some, made some uh, big stops. I tell you what, that game against UConn, at UConn, ends up being turning the negative into a positive because at UConn where we lost at the buzzer, or they went to overtime at the buzzer because we didn't get a box out, ended up helping us get the rebound today. Very proud of our young men, very proud of our guys. GW's a very good team, very well coached. They got very good players and uh, we're fortunate to get the W. We want to keep advancing, and we know whether we play Virginia or Coastal Carolina, we're going to have to play our A game. Um, you know, Tony Bennett's one of the great coaches in the game. Cliff Ellis, maybe a possible future Hall of Famer. So, you know, either way, you're going to play a well-coached team, and we've got to be just, uh, just you know, we got to be great on, on Sunday. But we're not, it's great to win. You don't take it for granted. They're hard to win, but we want to continue to do it to advance. With the win, the Tigers move into the third round on Sunday, looking for an upset, taking on the number one seeded Virginia Cavaliers. From Raleigh, North Carolina, I'm Jared Brown with the Memphis Tiger Network.